eight league wins in a row for Newcastle after beating Leeds 2-0 at Ellen Road. Newcastle are now five points clear at the top of the championship thanks to two goals from Dwight Gale. Both sets of supporters joined in for a minute's applause to honour Gary Speed, who died five years ago this month. Fans stood in the 11th minutes. The number shirts the midfielder wore for both sides. Speed's mother and father were also guests at the match. Well, Newcastle opened the scoring in the 23rd minutes, and it's a moment Green won't be in a hurry to relive. And by Colback trying to catch out Rob Green, and he has! Gale is there to pounce! The Championship's top scorer, sensing an opportunity, taking it, but Rob Green will feel that he could and probably should have done better there. This is as straightforward as it comes. Colback knows that Dwight Gale's going to hunt this ball down, but there's no real pace to the ball. He's not driven towards Rob Green. I'm sure he's mindful of the fact that Dwight Gale's poaching around. Even Pontus Janssen saying, calm, everything's OK, just take care of the situation. He's got to come out and claim that. I understand what he's trying to do, push it away from the line, but he's come out, claim it, catch it, smother it, get down on it, see off the danger. Lennon Road was completely sold out for the first time in six years, and Leeds came close to equalising through the A-Lane. Gary Monk's side thought they should have been awarded a penalty before the interval, and Ronaldo Vieira's shot hits Jack Colback's arm. Nine minutes into the second half, Gale would get his second. Harris works it back. It's a beautiful move, which ends up in a second goal for Newcastle United. So another win for Rafa Benitez's side, who remain on course for promotion back to the Premier League at the first attempt. It's good, and you know, uh, what we have to do is uh, keep doing the same things, trying to to play with the same intensity, no complacency, and then uh, try to get more more points in every game. And to be five points clear at the top, but also nine points clear of third place, you'd have taken this, wouldn't you? Yeah, but that is the championship, and we know that uh, until the end, uh, everything can happen, so we have to be sure that we approach every game with the same mentality. It was a genuine mistake by Rob Green for the first goal, wasn't it? What's he, he said about it? Could he have caught that? Of course, it's a genuine mistake. Um, but like I say, in those critical moments, um, like we said, the penalty and, mm. and other chances yeah. that we have, we had a really good period at the end of the first half where we really had them under pressure. And, and second half, it turned into a bit of a scrappy game, I felt, from both sides. But even still, we were pushing towards the end. We could, I think one goal would have changed the whole the whole complex of the game for us. We should have got a goal today. Um, but like I said, I can't. We're disappointed with the result, but we can't. Um, you know, we're continuing in the way that we are. Fellas, Jamal, eight wins in a row in the league. Every time you go out, do you feel like you're going to win at the moment? Um, well, you, there's a level of uh, confidence and then complacency, so we don't want to get too much of, uh, of either. So, um, you know, we just prepare for every game the same and uh, whatever, whatever team we play against, the same preparation and we come with the same professional head, so uh, that's it. And Dwight, it's 13 goals in 13 games for you so far this season. Tell us about those two today. The first one, was it worth a gamble? Uh, yeah, I mean... You've got to follow everything in and luckily he's dropped it and I was there to, to tap it in for the team. And then the second one was a great ball from Vern and great play from our team and they're just setting me up so I, I can't help but score at the moment. You were certain at the time that you were onside, you were actually just behind the ball. Uh, yeah, um, just happy it went in and pleased for the win today. You're clearly OK after that incident in the last few days. Was there ever any doubt that you would play today? No, there was no doubt. I was fine. Jamal, five points clear at the top, but is nine points clear of those playoff places. Is that even more significant? Well, of course, but again, we don't want to get um, ahead of ourselves, so we'll just prepare again for next week. We're going to be working hard in training and uh, getting ready for the next game, and we're just going to take it step by step.